I'll have some of my beer as well. Day three in Milan. We're just gonna spend the day in the town center. We're gonna go to the cathedral, which is pronounced Duomo in Italian. I didn't know that Duomo and cathedral was the same thing. We're gonna do some shopping because there's Gucci, Prada, Louis everywhere. So you're gonna find us in Zara and Primark. And yeah, we're just gonna go around, show you all the monuments of Milan, show you what the town center's like, try some local food. And I did mention at some point, I was gonna show you the homeless problem that they've got here without trying to get an actual person in the video. Because there's literally people sleeping under Prada. And it's mad. I can just show you that there. And we're not even in the town centre. We're about 15 minutes away. We haven't had a drink since we've got here at all, not one. So today we're just going to chill out, take in the city, eat some food, drink some wine, drink some beer. That proper guard there stuff here. They have military around the town centre of AK 47s. If you look at the people and then I scale up, you can see how big that building is. The place is huge. It's a bit like um, the Cigar de la Familia in Barcelona. Probably not as big as that. It's still pretty impressive. If you look down there, you can see a little bit of Milan town centre. Milano Central. Look at the detail of that building. If we just zoom in. The detail is crazy. Let's see if we can get this guy to move. Mate. It looks like we're gonna get in it. So it turns out we can't go into the cathedral because all the tickets are sold out for today and we're flying home in the morning, which is a bit crap because we wanted to go in. So we've decided that what we're gonna do is come back to Milan at some point for 24 hours just to go in there, fly to Milan, hire a car from the airport, go in there, stay one night and then go home. What we're doing now is, um, I saw this thing on TikTok, like we all see everything on TikTok, and it's a pizza shop called Spontini, and you basically buy slices of pizza, but it's meant to be unreal, and I cut it into little squares, and it's like a folded over, I don't know what it is, it looks a bit like a calzone, but we're gonna go and try that anyway. Let's see what that's saying. Hello, can you get uh, one regular margarita okay. um, and one regular salami? Something to drink? Uh, just one Miranda orange, please. Grazie, buon lavoro. Margherita? Yeah. I'm going to do a little taste test now. It tastes a little bit like Margaret pizza, it's nice. How much is that? 20 quid for two slices. And a drink. This is a cheesy a bit. Try the salami one now. That one's much better than that one. Yeah. Eight out of ten. That's really nice. Yeah, I love it. Spontini pizza. I said it was a seven out of ten. I'm changing my mind. I thought it was actually quite nice. Very different. It's very doughy. And I don't know why this has turned into a food review thing, but I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. It tastes a bit like, if you're from my era, you know, them little circle pizzas that we used to put in the microwave. I think that was from Chicago town. It tastes a little bit like that, but much better, obviously. So yeah, Spontini pizza, about an 8 out of 10.
Dior, Prada and Louis V. Won't be going in any of them. Keep your money in the bank. I'm not slating designer brands, but <clears throat> I feel like our generation is so lost. Like Everyone's killing themselves to put themselves in designer clothes and it's not worth it. It's really not worth it when you're old and you've realized that you've tried to impress all these people who actually don't care about you. You're gonna realize that there ain't nothing wrong with Zara, Boohoo, Primark. My advice to the younger generation would be to keep your money in the bank, save your money. Don't kill yourself trying to impress people that really don't care if you're dead or alive. But if ships your thing, and do what you're doing. But it's definitely not mine. I prefer to save money and travel. Because in my opinion, experience is worth more than materialism. But each to the own, everyone's different. Shani's just doing uh, the TikToks. I'll put our, uh, we've got a joint TikTok, um, <laughs> at Shan and Kurt. So I'll put that on the screen now so you can follow that. If you're interested in what we get up to, I don't know why you would be, but just in case you are. Shan, look at the sky. I'm gonna go over to the bird statue. The bird statue? The bird statue? It's a man on a horse. Nah, it's a bird statue. I promise you it's a bird statue. This is why it's a bird statue. Definitely not, you do it. No, you. No, no, no. I'm yeah, not. I'm no, 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 no. I don't want to near me. Okay, brother. Yeah, this is why I called it the bird statue. Literally covered in pigeons. You know what's mad? People let pigeons land on them. Got the camera on 0.5. If I go to one, you see how big it is. And if I go to two, you can see how big it is. And then if I go to five, you're going to see the detail. This camera's actually not. This is another building that everyone's taking videos and pictures of. I don't know what it is, but they're guarding it quite heavily, so. It's gotta be something. Detail in the architecture's mad, isn't it? I'll tell you one thing. When the Italians were building their buildings, they didn't rush or play about. Oh, it's a choir. All right, let's have a listen to him sing now. For those that don't know, I'm a professional and they're off. I'll sample that shit. Turn that into a brilliant hip hop beat. All jokes aside, shout out the choir. It's a lot of talent. When I start this music producer journey properly, um, I'd be really interested to bring a choir into the studio and sample it into some heavy hip hop, Kanye stuff. So, although it looked like I was taking the, uh, the pee out of them, shout out the choir. I'm gonna go and have a look in the Hugo Boss shop because that's about as designer as it gets for me, mate. Changed my mind. Since when was a Hugo Boss coat? 400 euros. Shout out the guy on his guitar. That's one of the uh, better ones I've heard. And um, we love that song, Zombie by the Cranberries. It reminds us of our first time in Dublin. And I've listened to that song ever since. They perform that a lot in all the Dublin pubs. And this Saturday, Sunday, whatever it is, I'm going to Dublin with the lads from the Cut Club for a 48 hour 
bender if you like and i'm gonna vlog that as well so if you're not already subscribe to the channel keep your eye out for that next one's just gonna be getting pissed so yeah i'm gonna turn you around and show you where we've got to this amazing building and huge fountain This place is absolutely huge. And I think you can just walk in. Wow. This seems to be like a really old castle. This place is absolutely huge. Or well, it could have been a prison. I wonder how it's place is absolutely huge. <laughs> and there's that next monument. See? Ciao. Should we go and have a look over the fence just because everyone's looking over the fence? I don't know what's going to be over. Everyone's looking at nothing. If anyone wants in any information on the contents of this video, I'm basically Italian now, so just drop a comment and I'll uh, get back to you using AI and Google. So we've finally reached the uh, horses monument. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm just going to show you this. A few cool buildings here, to be fair. And I know they look small on camera, but it's because of where I'm stood. Shan's got a smoothie and I've got a local beer. That I'm gonna try and some crisps now. Thank you very much. Thank you. And some nuts. I'm gonna try this local beer. Um, don't look great, but it's not what you're used to. But it's all right. It's smooth. You know what I don't understand? I'm sure Peroni's Italian, and I'm sure Moretti's Italian, and I'm in the center of Milan, and we've been here for days. And I haven't seen Peroni or Moretti anywhere. I might be wrong, one of them might not be Italian. I'm gonna look proper stupid if they're not. But if that's like the worldwide beer from your country, why wouldn't that be in most of your bars? I know where we can get a proper drink. We'll go there next. Might as well have some of my beer as well. Well, that was one of the worst beers I've ever had in my life. And half a pint was nine euros which is about £7.50 for half a pint in a random bar that's not even anything special. A bit of a piss take if you ask me. Shan's smoothie tasted like sick. So now, I've seen a little spot somewhere and we're going to go and get a proper beer. Sat down for a drink at Hard Rock Cat. And I'm only going to catch the end of the villa game and I'll... These guys have just paid a whole bill in coins and now this guy that works here at Hard Rock has got to sit there and count it all. And just while we're at it, we've got another bottle of wine. 